It's up, Corbin. I'm Rick. And you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. More juicy content. That's saying you're on Patreon. Follow me on Twitter, Gary. Mel, follow me on Gate Squad. Bang! I'm on wet. Follow us on gross. Follow us on our personal YouTube channels. Links right down there. For They're you. wet too. What is? Our channels. No. Especially when you pole dance. Mm -hmm. And I want to send my condolences out to India. Uh, as, as we know, because we follow you guys, uh, Donnie officially retired. Uh, Got a lot of sad messages from yes. folks. Obviously, I think India is probably going to be in mourning for ever. If, yeah, it's just over and over again. They're like, 2020, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, uh, I had, um, this is an ode to the captain, to Captain Cool, MS Donnie. Uh, and it was subbed by our subbers. Indian cricket commentator and journalist Harsha Bogle and uh, Bogle, I, I think it's Bogle. Forgive me if I'm mispronouncing that. And MS Dhoni's various, various former teammates take you through his role as a captain for the Indian cricket team. Dhoni put his favorite song as the background score for his retirement video. The lyrics go, "Quote: I am a poet only for a moment or two. My story will last only for a moment or two. My existence will last only for a moment or two." My youth will last only for a moment or two. I am a poet only for a moment or two, unquote. That's beautiful. He was the voice of the voiceless. He taught a generation of small town kids to dream big. As captain, he humbly served his nation. He did the people of India proud. This is truly the end of an era. So yeah, this was uh, by our suppers. I, I don't think this is their video, but they, they subbed it for us, so. Thank you, um, as always. Here we go. For me, Dhoni is, I don't need a sentence, three words will do, the coolest one. Uh, I think he's made a lot of selfless choices uh, along uh, along the way in his journey. That's who MS is for you. Uh, for me, MS Dhoni is, is, a, is a very uh, passionate uh, cricketer. Uh, knows his, his his ability and always uh, backs his ability with uh, with calmness uh, personified. He became a leader. Uh, millions ko inspire kiya. Uske baad log uske jaisa banna chahiye lage. Umid karte hai ki retire na ho kabi par ek din kisi sab ko retire to hona hi hai. Ki jo unka impact raha hai na puri team pe puri game baaz pe Bharti cricket pe. Wo kabile tarif hai aur unko unki barpai karna itna saal nahi. that someone who came from places like Ranchi, Kharagpur and then strode across the world seen like a giant never seemed to have any trouble adapting to a different level of cricket. That's what differentiates champions from others. I didn't hear of him really for a long time until a producer told me I've just seen this man bat, he's got long hair, he says he walks like a bull, he bats like he owns the place. Forget everybody, remember MS Dhoni. If you get a chance to get a chance, you want to get a chance to get a chance to get a chance to get a chance to get a chance. So it was a big deal for them, but Dhoni is such a person that he doesn't show a lot of emotion. Dhoni has been a lot of expression to his face. I can't do this, I can't do this, and we were actually laughing that Dravid was also with us, because Dravid was a very good player, we were talking about this, that this is actually real, which way we are doing it, Mahindra Singh Dhoni, he put a shot in every corner, he put a big shot, he put a shot, he put a shot, that was the first international level, the first match of the international level, that was the first match of the international level, 
बड़े प्लेयर हैं और कितना महान प्लेयर बनने के लिए भारत के लिए खेल रहे हैं Anyone who knew MS at that point always knew the fact that he was a very astute cricketer, a very astute person, someone who was very sharp at all points. You know, he was he was on the button. He knew what he wanted to do. He was very clear about you know what he was trying to achieve for himself as a cricketer who represented the country. And also, you know, when he was a captain of the team, you also felt that you know he wanted all of us to do well. And he built that kind of an atmosphere. Now, when I went to MS and said, you know, give me the ball, I want to bowl in the bowl out, he said, yeah, okay, do it. I know you'll do it. So I think the beauty of that World Cup was that everyone in that in that ground, no matter where we were on the field, when he made that decision to give Jogi the ball, we just trusted, you know. So every decision that was made, every call that was taken, was trusted by each one of us on the on the field and just off the field, just outside the ropes as well. And I think that's what created that magic of 2007. That World T20 in South Africa changed a lot of things. We know it led to the Birth of T20 cricket is modern form as we know it, but the single biggest game beyond being the catalyst for the IPL was the arrival of MS Dhoni. As someone who could lead from the front, who in the going what got tough was really calm as the first we saw of him, and yet who in times of victory was not grandstanding, was not putting himself there in front. Coming in, becoming the lead player for Chennai Super Kings, it started a love story with Chennai Super Kings that has just grown and grown and grown and grown and magnificent. The first IPL in 2010, all those Champions League trophies, but more than anything else, the finishes. I asked Rahul Dravid once many years ago. I said, Why Dhoni? Why not Dhoni at three? He said, Because nobody will finish like him at number six. He's far more valuable at six. We'll find a three, but we won't find someone who finishes like him. And then the legend of Dhoni finishing guru that came in Dharamshala, where, as I as I've often said, I saw this ball, white ball, going against the night sky, like it was a meteor headed somewhere. Uh, the game in Sri Lanka, uh, where what 14, 15 together, the last over, refusing singles, wanting to finish it himself. The aura, the just the feel of Dhoni, the finisher, just grew and grew and grew. And to be honest, even from the commentary box. If it was 90 of seven overs, as it once was in the IPL, you didn't think it was over. You said, "How is he going to find a way out? <coughs> Not will he find a way yeah. out?" Now, 2011 is, is something uh, which uh, which was very important tournament when you are playing in front of your home crowd. Uh, World Cup is, is is a big stage, uh, and uh, as far as bowling was concerned, you know, for a for, for a keeper to be constantly communicating with with bowler at times is. It's a hard uh, job to do, and and he had enough trust in me uh, to to take the initiative or take the lead with uh, with that regard. Uh, that really worked very well uh, throughout uh, my career, and and MS as uh, as captain, uh, you know, was always uh, the case. For Mahendra Singh Dhoni, he was a class, he was a special case. कि वो टीम को अपने साथ लेके चलते थे और आप 2011 की बात करें मैं तो कहूँगा कि उसके बाद से लेके अब तक 2019 तक भी कि अगर आप विराट कोहली की भी बात करें कोच रवि शास्त्री की बात करें तो उनके लिए भी एक पिलर है युवराज सिंह ने कहा महेंद्र सिंह धोनी गए तो गए और उन्होंने क्या किया वो तो मुझे कहने की जरूरत नहीं आंकड़े दर्शाते हैं कि केवल स्किल ही नहीं उनका जो दिमाग है उनकी जो विल थी वो उन्हें कहाँ तक लेके गई है Backing his abilities, I think that's been uh, the, the the greatest uh, asset which he had uh, playing cricket. He has pushed the game to uh, to that stage where the bowlers are are feeling the pressure and they're committing those errors, which he can really capitalize on, and and that is something which uh, which shows in MS Dhoni the uh, the great finisher. He's only been captain of India for six years. In those six years, MS Dhoni has got IPL titles, Champions League titles, but with India, he's got a World T20, he's got a World Cup win, and you could say that all that is because there were all these great players around him. Then he comes to this to England for the Champions Trophy, and he says, "I need an opening batsman." So who's my opening batsman? It's Rohit Sharma. You're my opening batsman. It's changed Rohit Sharma's life. What a role he has had to play in the evolution of Chahal and Kuldeep. I've been very lucky to have had the stump mic turned on, and I've heard some very, very interesting instructions, 
It's almost as if someone's providing the voice and the bowlers are falling. I think he's played a magnificent role in the development of people and I think in the smooth transition of Dhoni to Kohli was, is, is one of his biggest moments. I, remember. I think he's got an uncanny ability to just live in the moment and back a player when he asks him to do difficult things. In single level, he made his life life and then he finished it with the big players. His biggest legacy has, has been uh, the fact that every time he's, he's there at the crease, you have hope, you know, it doesn't matter what the situation is. He has played uh, that kind of innings uh, pretty much uh, throughout his, his, his career. I as a cricketer, as a friend, I'm uh, grateful to him for, you know, all that he's been to me and uh, the leader that he's been to me. Alak se kabliya thi, alak sa talent tha, jo ki at the best, highest level to explore kiya. So, thank you Dhoni. Great captain, or great team man, or Indian cricket ko jo itna yogdaan aur aage tak leke gaya, uske liye mera hi ni sabka. Thank you very much. What? endeared him to me even more was once he gave up the captaincy there was no song and dance about it there was no grandstanding come look at me me captain greatest i am abdicating look at me no that's it for me thank you aur main to hamesha se kehta raha hu ki mahendra singh dhoni jab bhi jayenge tab aapko unki na real value unki pata lagega Yeah, and getting emotional. He seems like a special player. Obviously, yeah. we never had the pleasure. Of, we've seen clips of him, obviously, but that's not the same. Right. Um, we didn't grow up with him, and, and but you can you can equate it to the greats of the people like we've known, like of our favorite teams. I'm, I'm sure you've had some good players in the Yankees at some point, right? Yep. Um, one or two, maybe. One or two. Uh, <laughs> but like, it's like when Peyton Manning retires. Right. Everybody in the world of football knows how big of a exactly. deal that is. Yeah. It, uh, it's, 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 and that's American football if you don't know what that is. Um, but he's he was one of the debatably the greatest to top three at worst. Right. Greatest quarterback of all, all time. Famer. Yeah. Um, just retiring and it's a big deal. There's players on on personal teams, you know, if you're Cowboys or, or I'm a Falcons fan, so like when Julio Jones retires, it's just going to be a really sad day for me. Yeah, <laughs> because he's like my favorite player. Ever. Yeah, and I, I, you know, and, and comparatively, like when you have a team you root for, like when we lived in Texas, I loved the San Antonio Spurs, and so when, Tim when, Duncan. when David Robinson oh, and Tim Duncan, both yeah. of them, when they both retired, that when was Kobe very retired emotional. from the Lakers. Yeah, and Shaq when yeah. Shaq retired, but they had a resonance that was bigger than their sport as yeah. well. So, like for example, being a Spurs fan, you hated the Lakers, but man. Uh, anybody who said to me that Kobe was the best in basketball, I was like, yeah, you're absolutely right. Kobe's the best. Yep. And when Shaq retired, as much as I couldn't stand how much they dominated the Spurs year after year, yeah. you couldn't deny the fact that there was no one more, no one, everybody in the NBA, no one more dominating. But so the you, whole world of cricket knows this is one of the also greatest ever. you also have the feeling, and that's what a lot of them echo, that uh, how selfless of a player he's like. That's what always man. makes the great ones great. Yeah. Is that they are the greatest. But they don't feel the need to um, gloat about that, it. That, yeah, that's that's what happened with both, you know, with Robinson and Duncan on the Spurs, and uh, that, that I, I can name a number of Yankees that you no, know, but Jeter, all selfish bastards. When no, Derek Jeter, from the day he stepped into Major League Baseball until the day he left, was a, a gentleman and uh, an upstanding guy. As was still going to hell for playing for the Yankees. <laughs> Those of you who don't know, this is what they call the Red Sox inferiority complex. Oh my god. Shut up. Anyways, uh, that was that was beautiful. Uh, really I'm, lovely. I'm sad that we never got to actually see, I mean, we got to see Sachin play. Yes. And hear the Sachin. Sachin. That was the coolest part of that it. That was the coolest part. we got part. to see um, uh, from Sachin, but yeah, yeah, you can tell what style played on. I'm sure a bunch of stupid babies. And I know just from the how much we've heard about it in the comments on Twitter, on Instagram, yeah. just how big of an impact. And it was an expected retirement, too. You know, it was, but it will still be for the majority of Indians, I think, like most when a legend leaves a team, that first season they come back out, you feel the absence really hard. Mm -hmm. um, it's like an end of an era. You, you, it's like a part of your life has ended. Mm -hmm. And you, when you watch again, you think, is it ever going to be the same? It, it, it won't be. <laughs> but 
uh, that that's uh, that's the beauty of a moment like this. And they, he was right. I think probably the case with all athletes, and especially for the impact, because we we're comparing right now the sports that we've grew up with, and as much as they're a part of the American fabric, because they really are a part of the fabric, we know what cricket is to India. We yeah. don't have any comparable sport comparison. What the athletes on the Indian cricket team mean to you guys? Yeah. So we compare what we know, but it's it's not a fair comparison because we know that these guys... But I know you'll still yell at us for it. I know. Yeah, I'm sure you'll... <laughs> How dare you compare them to such and such. Yeah. But, yeah. But uh, thinking of all of you guys, obviously, because we know it's not, not an easy time when yeah. you're, you're the, the greatest of all time, your favorite player retires. It's never fun. But I'm hoping Donnie... Uh, I don't know what his plans are, because a lot of time when greats retire, they go into commentary, they go right. into stuff like that. So I don't know what his plan is, um, but I'm sure he has a, a wonderful life ahead with his family. And, all that, and that's, all, that's all you can wish. Yep. There so, you go. So, And I hope y'all can get cricket soon. Yeah. I know a lot of y'all are missing cricket right now. Yeah. Da din din 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 da din din